Parents and teachers have become increasingly concerned about girls following the 2006 advent of Facebook. It's been blamed for a rise in bullying and a decline in social skills. My research, however, takes a slightly different approach and looks at three things. Grade 8 girls, identity and Facebook's most commonly used feature, status updates. It's based on a simple and age-old premise. If all the world's a stage, then surely Facebook is just another stage on which actors can perform. And what do all actors want? Desirable reactions from their audiences. This involves trying a number of different strategies on for size. Should I present myself as kind, needy, self-sacrificial, talented, intimidating? So, dramaturgical metaphor in hand, I set about answering two questions. First, which of these strategies are Grade 8 girls using in their status updates? And second, how and why are Grade 8 girls using their status updates more broadly? I used a mixed methods approach and 349 surveys, 9 interviews and 445 status updates later, I had some answers. I collected updates ranging from long weekend, yay, to piss off, to how do people just have sex with complete strangers? I can't even order pizza over the phone. And I coded these status updates according to the strategies these girls were using to present themselves. While you would expect that bullying and attention seeking would rate highly, they didn't. Girls most commonly presented themselves as likeable by using flattery and compliments. And this is exactly what happens in offline settings. You see, girls need to maintain synergy between their online and offline identities. Why? Because everything you say on Facebook can be used against you in the court of social approval. When I asked the girls why they updated their own statuses, they said, oh, just to let other people know what I'm doing if I'm bored. But when I asked them why other people updated their statuses, they said, she'll just do anything to get attention. She just wants the boys to like her. This might explain why more than 30% of the girls in my study reported updating their statuses at least once per day. Because status updates will be interpreted differently by every audience member, identities are in a constant state of flux. Identity becomes less a question of who am I and more a question of what do you see in me, what do you want in me. My research challenges the fearful notion of an authentic offline identity and an inauthentic online identity. It shows that, like the classroom, Facebook is just another space for girls to experiment with their identities, engage the reactions of others. So, if there's one message we should be sending to grade eight girls on Facebook, know your audience. Thank you. <laughs>